Okay, continuing with our Vim tutorials here. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, opening up multiple files within Vim. So let me go ahead, I've created just an example file here in index.html, so I'll go into that in Vim. And I guess I should also show you that in this directory, there's a subdirectory. If I list it out, there's some JavaScript files inside that subdirectory. So let's go into our Vim index file. So here we are, very basic little HTML file here. Now, let's say I wanted to open up one of those other files. Uh, so for example, inside the JS folder, there was JS main, which you can also see right here in our code. So what I can do is, while I'm uh, not in um, insert mode, I can hit colon, and I'm going to type in find JS, whoops, for the, the folder. So I'm putting in the file name, and it's in the subfolder JS main.js. And when I hit enter, there we go, it has opened up that file. Now, both those files are currently opened up in Vim. They're in what are called buffers, which we'll get back to in a moment. So let's open up another one of those files. I'll just, again, colon, find, and I'll do JS, and another one was called uh, test.js. And I can tab complete to complete that once I start typing out the name. I'll hit enter, and here is the test.js. But now, how do I switch between all of them? Now, you can do split windows. Uh, but we're not going over that in this tutorial. We're going to switch between them full screen mode here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first list out all the files that I have open in this current session of Vim, all the files that are in the buffer. So I'm going to hit colon ls and hit enter. And there you go. You can see it's listed that I have index.html open. Uh, I have js, uh, the folder js main.js open, and testjs.open. Uh, and also you might notice that uh, there's a dot slash, just because I tab complete, dot slash just means current folder, so same as typing this. Uh, so again, that's colon ls to list all the current files you have open in this session of Vim. Hit enter when you're done. Um, how, how do you switch between them? There's different ways to do it, but uh, basically now that I know what files are open, I can hit colon b space and I can now hit tab and it'll tab through the files that I have open. And I can pick one, index, b tab, main.js. And uh, let me um, let me open up another one. It's an empty file, but I'm just going to go find js forward slash linux.js. Uh, so I can put something in here, function, main, linux, whatever, just to have something in here, blah, blah, blah. So now again, I can colon ls to list all my files that I have open. You can see that this one is open. And uh, so now, let me go ahead and go to our index file. So I'm gonna hit colon b, i n tab to auto complete that. I'll hit, oh, oh. Let me save that. Uh, b, what's it saying, index.html. There we go. Um, so now let me show you again. So now I have two of them open. Again, if I list, we have two of them that start JS. So now I can hit colon B JS and hit tab. And well, I guess it tabs through all three of those. It ignores that dot slash. I wasn't sure if it would or not. So you notice it's ignoring like our index uh, dot HTML because I typed JS already. Uh, so that's one way you can shorten up, obviously, the autocomplete with tab. So um, I can go to my main JS, or I can go to my uh, Linux JS, or I can go to my um, test JS. So again, uh, we looked at three basic things today. Opening a file with find. Uh, we looked at switching between the file, or listing all the files with ls and switching to that buffer using colon B and then tabbing to complete that. Uh, there are other commands, uh, but those are the basics. I do thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying these Vim tutorials. We're going to uh, work a little bit more with uh, these opening of other files in future videos. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. New video each Wednesday. Uh, and also be sure to check out the playlist. Hopefully I'll put a link in the description. And please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description there. You can search through all my videos. There you also find links to my PayPal account if you would like to help support this site. Also link in the description to uh, my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash melix1000. 
I would appreciate the support. If you can't support financially, think about liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting below. I thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.